ਦੋਸਤੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸਾਡਾ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਤਨ ਡੈਰੀ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਦਿਨੀ ਐਡਮਿਨਟਨ ਮਿਲ ਕ੍ਰੀਕ ਤੋਂ ਐਮ ਐਲ ਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਜੀਨ ਜੋਸਕੀ ਨੂੰ ਅਲਬਰਟਾ ਲੈਜਿਸਲੇਟਿਵ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਦੇ ਸਪੀਕਰ ਬਣਨ ਤੇ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਅਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਆਫ ਐਡਮਿਨਟਨ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਨਮਾਨਿਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸਨ ਰਾਜਾ ਬਾਸ ਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਆਫ ਐਡਮਿਨਟਨ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਸਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਪੋਕਸ ਪਰਸਨ ਯਸ਼ ਸ਼ਰਮਾ ਜੀ ਆਓ ਵੇਖਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਦ੍ਰਿਸ਼ ਆ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਯੂ ਆਲ on this special occasion to celebrate mr jean dwaski on his election as a speaker for alberta i feel proud today to be here in front of the wonderful gathering of great personalities honorable jean dwaski speaker of alberta rashama leader of labor party peter sandhu mla amarji sohi and very honorable ladies and my dear friends as we know that the speaker is an important position and it is above the party boundaries and is a very pious position and at this moment is held by him. above all one of his greatest and most recent successes when he won the elections of this year becoming the speaker of the alberta legislative assembly special thanks to mr raja for giving us an opportunity to be here together and share and have a dinner together and i would like to congratulate mr jean first of all being a speaker and serving our community one more time and mr raj sharman mr peter sandhu and uh, i would also like to welcome mr amarjit sohi and all the dignities uh. i have known jean for last 20 years jean is a uh, jean is mla representing mel creek but also is MLA for broad Alberta because uh, he looking after every community's concern is not only for uh, Sikhs or Hindus or Muslim he look after everyone but really the position that you occupy is extraordinarily important as an ambassador as a fair non-partisan ambassador and champion for our province to improve trust and I believe the work that you've done as an MLA over the years since 97 as a teacher prior to that it, it it's going to serve you extraordinarily well in being fair in the legislature and all the languages that you've learned you've learned punjabi you've learned hindi you've learned uh you know you speak french uh you can talk to everyone across the world i look forward to a great session in the legislature uh with you as a speaker with you as a mentor as a teacher and really as a counselor to all of us mlas who sometimes sometimes we'll get over passionate and we may not behave as we should and uh, <laughs> i look forward to uh, to the fairness that you've exhibited throughout your whole years in public life you no know, i i i have known jean for uh, many years i think he's one of those individuals who cares about people his commitment is to the community and his commitment is to the people he represents i think that's your uniqueness jean i think that's really make you stand above many other individuals who are in politics and we get into politics to serve people regardless of which party we belong to whether we work at city council or provincial level or federal level or different parties our main objective is to make our communities a better place for all of us to live and you have demonstrated that with your commitment uh, dr tuli i was deeply moved by your introduction too thank you so very very much and um, and by raj sherman thank you uh, raj we've been uh, friends for a very long time and we'll be friends forever uh, peter my uh, my younger brother <laughs> thank you as well for your warm words and of course to amarjit um, you know you're 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 right with your summation of what it takes to be in uh, political life uh, it means being uh, a servant of the people and um, nothing could be more uh, true of the position of being the speaker of the legislature than to be a servant of the people but by being a servant to the MLAs because that's really what the uh, speaker's job is all about in my uh, opening day when i was first elected uh, i laid out a few principles that i was going to uh, do my best to follow um, <clears throat> the first one of them was impartiality and uh, that is the kind of uh, position uh, that i'm taking is to be impartial to be firm but fair uh, to help uh, co coach uh, some of those who need coaching because we have 38 brand new members 38 people who have never been elected uh, under the dome who need some help from time to time and it matters not to me which party they come from if they need my help i will always be there and i will be there in a very confidential trusting way second thing that i mentioned in my opening <coughs> comments was that i would be um do i would do everything i can to help improve and increase 
the civility and the decorum in the house. You know, from time to time, MLAs get a little bit passionate, you know, passionate. <laughs> and I think Raj summed that up. We get carried away a little bit. We've all done it. And we've all stepped over the line a little bit on occasion. Not intentionally, but our emotions run away sometimes because we feel strongly about the people we represent. And we feel strongly about the position that we're coming from. Whether it's the uh, far left, the near left, or the middle, or the right, or the far right. We're all in this business to help serve the public. And the public drives our agenda. And the third thing I said I would like to do is to open up the legislature even more than my predecessor, Ken Kowalski, did. He did some phenomenal firsts for Alberta. Um, that includes having more of our ethno-cultural celebrations in the legislature. Some of you are very familiar with uh, the uh, Eid al-Fitr, for example, celebration, uh, when Ramadan uh, is, uh, is ending, and uh, also Festival of Lights, for example. But we also do celebrations for the Métis, for the Ukrainian famine, as you know, and for a number of other cultures. And the point of it all is to try and open up the legislature so that more people can participate. And that's part of what we're doing here today, sharing with each other. I also said we should do more to help educate young people about the democratic process. So many children don't know anything beyond grade six until they have to vote in second year university about what the system is all about. They, they lose a few years there. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is understanding that not all children in Alberta can come to Edmonton to visit the legislature. So we've had some meetings now. I want to take the legislature out to them. I want to take the legislature with the robes and everything, the hat, everything that goes with it, out into the community to get some excitement generated amongst the kids out there. And so that's what we're going to do. And the next thing I mentioned was uh, that Alberta is now viewed by people from around the world as a place to come to, a place to come and visit as a tourist, a place to come and spend time with your family at weddings or anniversaries or other happy occasions, a place to come and work or a place to invest. And if we're going to show the most positive image possible, it's going to take all of us working together to promote Alberta from that standpoint. Not in a political way, but just in a community fashion. And that's what brings us all together here. So my final words are just to say a sincere thank you to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum, Namaste, Sasrika. I'm so delighted that uh, Honorable Jean would this key speaker of Alberta Legislative Assembly is with us today. Jean is a leader par excellence. His popularity has helped him to get himself elected three terms in a row and now he, as a speaker he has demonstrated that he is available to solve Canadian and general and Albertan particular. Jean has always treated me as a brother and I am sure he treats every person with same love and affection. I am very eager to see that Jean lead Alberta with more responsibilities and ensure that our oil country should grow by leaps and